Hey, welcome back everyone to another video. So this week was a pretty rough week. I have pretty bad insomnia from time to time and this week was particularly bad. I didn't sleep for almost eight days. I slept a few hours here and there, but yeah, I was just super tired and it was really hard to get work done. I just spent most of my time in bed trying to sleep pretty much. But yesterday I had a pretty nice bike ride through Tokyo and I visited a lot of relaxing parks and rivers. And when I got home I fell asleep right away so hopefully things will be fixed from now on and I can get back to work. So since I was super tired I just didn't want to do any programming since you need kind of a clear mind for that so instead I did some more art. So I already had a mock-up of a stage laying around and I thought I'd continue to work on that and see if I can finish it up. So here you can see the new stage. It's set in like a forest type of setting or maybe like a swamp type of setting. I've not decided yet. I think the purple tiles make it look a bit more like a swamp, which is not really what I want to go for. So maybe I will still change the floor tiles. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a mysterious forest with a lot of mysterious elements like the bricks here and the pillar made of stone in the background here. You can see that there used to be some ancient type of civilization here and that ties into the story which I'll come back to later. So currently we have the grasslands world which is the world that's currently in the game. This is kind of like the beginner world and it's easy and it will kind of guide the player into the game and explain all the core mechanics of the game. Then there is the city stage which is also not yet finished and this will be like an intermediate stage with multiple levels. It will focus all on platforming on different heights and finding different paths. And then there's the ancient runes stage which is the new stage that I've been working on. And this is gonna introduce actually the ability to die. So you can see some spikes here. So there's more of an element of danger. If you make a mistake, you can't just run back and try again. If you make a mistake, you will actually fall on the spikes and you will get damaged or even die and have to start over from the last checkpoint. You can also see I've made kind of a platform here with an orb in the center. I've been thinking of making interactive platforms. So maybe this platform will only be solid after you've done a flip or if you're doing a combo, stuff like that. So this world will be introduced later in the game and will be a lot more difficult. So I made a lot of variations of this world. I'm still kind of experimenting what looks best. So you can see that the background color is pretty dark right now, which kind of indicates that you're in a dense part of the forest but i've also made like a lighter background and maybe some white trees here in the background and maybe the first couple of stages will start off with this background and then as you go further into the forest you go deeper into the forest pretty much it will get darker and maybe even darker like this to indicate that you're really going deep into the forest I also want to add a lot of special effects in this world, like particles floating around. They're not visible right now because it's something I will actually make in the engine. And another thing I want to try is making like these light shafts. These are also things I'm gonna add into the code since I want to have control over how far they go and how wide they are and how transparent they are. But I think it will really add to the mystery of the area. So on last week's video, there were some people commenting that they wanted to know more about the lore of the game. So I'll try to get into that a bit more. So there are all these stone elements that kind of signify that there was a civilization here in this forest. And you can see it's all very run down. So the player is supposed to get the impression that there used to be something here, but not anymore. And this actually ties into Spirit Sphere. So the world of Spirit Sphere and this world are actually the same world. But Spirit Sphere took place in ancient times and this is like thousands of years in the future. And this was actually the place where the ancient arena from Spirit Sphere used to be. 
So I'm not gonna spoil too much about the story, but I want to introduce some story elements in this world. Some sort of revelation that will explain the underlying story of the game. So another thing I want to mention real quickly is that the creator of the framework that I'm using, which is called Nez, it's the entity component framework I'm using. He's actually building an editor himself. And for everyone who's watched my previous videos, you know that I spent months making an editor, but now he's pretty much making a way better version. And I'll probably end up implementing his editor when he releases it. So I pretty much wasted a few months of my time working on an editor, which kind of bumps me out. I could have spent that time on more useful things, but at least I have some experience in making an editor now, I guess, but his editor looks way nicer than mine. So I want to see if I can implement that. So that's pretty much it for this week. I think I will keep doing art stuff for a while until the creator of the NAS framework releases his editor and then I can get that out of the way and then I can get back to programming the game again. But for now I'm having fun with art and it's making good progress. We have the art ready for three different worlds right now which is pretty cool. It's not yet in the game and I think I will first complete the main mechanics of the game before I start adding new worlds but once the main mechanics are done I should be able to add these new worlds pretty quickly and that will be really fun for you guys to see. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys again next week.